Thursday. I hope you all are so excited that it's Thursday because guys, it is less than one week until Christmas. Who is getting so excited for Christmas? I don't know about you guys, but I cannot wait until Christmas gets here because it is going to be so much fun. But guys, in today's video, we have an amazing font launch collection. So as you guys are tuning in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on, whether you're getting ready for Christmas making gifts like we're going to be talking about today, or if you are getting ready with your decor and everything else you have going on. So we are so excited. We have so many projects. We have about 13 projects to go over in today's video. So as you guys are tuning in, say, hey, let us know what's going on. And Rachel is a little under the weather today, not feeling her best. So Gus is going to comfort her while me and Becca get to talk crafts. And prepare to Lysol everything. everything. <laughs> so yes, we decided that there are new fonts and new cut files launched today. So traditionally next week would be our font collection launch, but in today's video, we're going over fonts and cut files because who wants to have to, you know, wait until the day after Christmas to get extra goodies? Right. That's a lot of waiting. You're going to have time off for Christmas. Yes. You can craft some with these awesome new mm -hmm, files. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for everyone wondering, you can still get the membership for $40 off, get grandfathered in at our best deal of the year. So we are so excited to give you guys that offer. And it's because it's Christmas. It's the only time that we're this generous with our best deal because there are so many people getting a new machine. And we know that this is the busiest time of year. And I don't I don't know about you guys i am super like got my spreadsheet going of gift ideas i don't know about you becca how are you doing on your gifts not so great tanner <laughs> have you so even great. thought about stockings yet um i have one item oh yeah yeah the kids i told uh -huh, you uh -huh. i'm gonna get them a bag of balloons because they, <laughs> they love them. balloons yeah. um and that's it that's it. but i have all next week you do have two days two days <laughs> You got the weekend. Figure out, I do. Yeah, I do. yeah. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot for us to go over in today's video. But also there's so many different things that you guys want to be getting ready for. We hope that you're um, able to be off all next week for those two days to get ready. I know a lot of people are doing half days on Monday, half days on Christmas Eve. But if you do not have time next week, this weekend is going to be an amazing time. So go ahead, mark off some time this afternoon to go over, download these new cut files, download these new fonts because Becca has been raving about these projects that <laughs> she just keeps looking at the table and she's like we made some cute projects There's some super cute ones yeah I, I don't know which one we're gonna go over all of them and we're gonna I'll be able to share our favorites but there's just so many wow factor ones like these right here are made out of paper mache but they look so professional they look so good um we were able to is that this is the one we did glitter HTV with infusible ink mm-hmm game changer cannot wait to share with you guys how to do this one um but yeah there's so many different projects that we just have not really ever been able to make before given our own twists and spins i mean look at some of this like we're really taking um some projects and giving some really awesome customization and what i love about this is you can send this video to your spouse your significant other i don't know about you i am getting so many people asking me what i want for christmas if you guys want a Makers Gonna Learn membership for Christmas, it can be gifted to them. So all you need to do, shoot them a text with our join link. It is down below. Send them a link to this video. Say, hey, use the coupon code, get me a membership. You can gift it and it would be an amazing gift idea because you could craft along with us for a whole year. Wouldn't that be a fun gift idea? I love that idea. There's, it's mm -hmm. so good and we're really excited. Um, but yes, what is everyone saying? Becca, what what do we got going on? Um, I can't remember who it was. It's up here somewhere, but some, but she said um, that the files are so much better than Cricut Access and we oh, love to hear that. We love that, guys. Mm -hmm. And they're so curated. Mm -hmm. We really focus in not only giving projects to go along with almost every single cut file, but we give so many project 
ideas um, to go along with the cut falls. And in our member only Facebook group, you get to see a ton of amazing things. So thank you so much for that sweet comment. I love it. Uh, we got Renee. Everything's done. Stockings filled. He's an overachiever and I love it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little envy to be honest. <laughs> so we're super excited. But yes, Miss Renee says, has the prizes from a few weeks ago been mailed? I'm still waiting. Well, Miss Renee, we did wait until the very last day to start even packing them. So if you want a bag or anything we had in-house, that was shipped, I believe... Monday. Yes, Monday. I did go to the post office and then we were going to send out all the gift cards and things this week as well. So we'll be wrapping all that up. So you'll be getting those and I'm super excited. Miss Trisha is wanting to know how much it is for the year membership. <gasps> That's a great question. So traditionally our membership is, um, you can do a monthly tier for $19.99 a month, but that does not give you access to our fonts. So the yearly membership is that best value. Um, traditionally it's $191.88. But today, if you use the coupon code BEST, B-E-S-T, at checkout, that is going to save you $40 and actually grandfather you in on the membership at that rate. Never will go up. Um, and that will get you in at $151. So what a great value when you're able to craft along with us all year long. So yay, we're so excited. Tammy says she got her bag yesterday. I live in North Carolina. Thank you. Thanks, Tammy. I hope you enjoy it, dear. Congratulations. Um, but yes, any other questions, comments that we want to say before we jump into talking all things crafting? There was a question about when the drawing for the iPad would be. <gasps> yes, I <laughs> have got the winner. We are going to need to do a Facebook Live. It has been Honestly, it's our last week in the office, so it has been a little bit crazy before the holidays, but we will be able to announce that winner because I know you guys are super excited to see who won the iPad. And thank you guys so much for all of the amazing, amazing um, different testimonials. You all are so amazing. So thanks again for that. And you'll see it very, very soon. So anyway, are how many members are there? Patty says, Ooh, we have over 4,000 amazing active members. So if you're not already a member, there's so many different things in the membership that you can have access for. So if you have any more specific questions, let us know. Um, and we will be able to check it out. So yay, but let's go ahead and start talking about some of these projects. And I kind of want to start over on what would be your left-hand side or my right hand side um and start with this project now becca you actually made this one i did it's so it's a wow factor project like this is a very large embroidery mm -hmm. hoop um do we know how big it was or did we just get it at hobby lobby yeah i didn't actually measure it it's probably one of the largest ones mm -hmm. they offer right yeah. yeah so super cool now i've never been able to see someone cut a piece of canvas right here mm -hmm. and kind of put it in here to give kind of like a minimalist like wreath vibe. Yeah. Yeah. What was, was there any particular inspiration that you had behind this project? Cause it is so, it's fun. It would be so good to give to any like Joanna Gaines, like obsessed friend mm -hmm. or anything like that. Right. Yeah. Actually a Pinterest inspiration, of course. Ooh. Yes. That Courtney found. Um, it's I love super that. cute. And I love the new, that's one of the new fonts. Yes. Um, now this font Mammal. is Mammal. Oh yes. my gosh. Mammal got a font named after her. I love it. And then the little squirrely things top and bottom are one of our file or one of our fonts too. So that's super I cute. I love it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I just cut that canvas with a rotary cutter, mm -hmm. um, which is how we got it so straight. Love um, that. Popped it in there. That's HTV. It was super simple. Yeah. Let's go ahead and look at the second camera and we yeah. can go ahead and look at how we were able to. So just take some of this um, faux greenery and just we just hot glued it in, right? Yep, hot glued Look it in. That's this. actually um, a sprig that was from Hobby Lobby. It was fifty percent off, so it was only five dollars, and we didn't even Ooh. use the entire sprig. So, Ooh. and this guys, this is a really. I'm gonna actually measure it just because I know if I was watching, I wouldn't be able to know exactly what size it is. Um, but let me go ahead, and I'm going to measure it for you. And of course, the one time I want to measure, the measuring tape is not here, so that's funny. Um, but no big deal, no biggie, no biggie. Um, it is totally fun. Well, looks like we're going to have one brought to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ta -da! So, okay, here is what we got this. Okay. This is an 18 inch embroidery hoop. And what do you guys think of this? It is so awesome. Um, again, 
heat transfer vinyl. The Hello is our mammal font, brand new. You guys need to check this out and make this for a amazing friend. Like who is going to, um, you know, need this most is someone that loves Joanna Gaines, someone that loves, you know, this vibe, which is kind of a little minimalist. But what I love is this could fit kind of in any home. Like, Becca, I think this would fit great in my home, your it home, would. or even someone with a more farmhouse <clears throat> type vibe. Yeah, and I love that you could use it indoors or like on your out, uh, right. outside door. Yeah. I love it. So, yeah, this is a really fun one. We love, you know, the greenery and everything is so good. So we had someone ask early, if you want to scroll up, we had a friend ask what even is it, the membership, I think. Um, do, do, do. Sorry, I'm a crafting... their mouse is backwards. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and Becca have a debate. So we have um, Miss Linda saying, I'm a crafting noob. Please tell me how your membership works and how I can benefit from it. Well, thank you so much. That is such a sweet way of asking. I do have to say, I'm trying to hang this back up. <laughs> Oh wait, here it's we go. It's a balancing act. There we. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Try on that top. Um, um little yeah. Out there. there we. Okay. We're getting there. <laughs> We're getting there. Anyway, what I wanted to show her, dear, is when you get our membership, you're able to get a lot of different resources. So we have over 1,500 plus cut files you're able to download today. But then we also have membership um, exclusives like our Cricut Printable Guide. And then we just launched our iOS guide if you want to learn how to master it on your iPhone or your iPad or anything like that. Um, it is so good and we're really excited for that. So if you guys want to get over 1500 plus cut files, over 200 plus fonts and so much more with the member only Facebook group. We have three training classes that are perfect for beginners. So you guys will learn how to use your machine, how to use design space and how to build a business through die cutting. And that membership tier is actually on sale today. So you say yes to a year, you use the coupon code BEST, B-E-S-T at checkout. That's gonna lock you in at our lowest rate of the year, $151.88. You're locked in for a year and every single week or every other week we're coming out with new cut falls and fonts and projects like this so we're so excited and not to mention the commercial license where you're able to make money with your machine because you could actually sell all of these amazing projects once you make them um, and be able to profit from it so a lot of our members have already made their money back from buying the membership and they just bought it like on black friday which is crazy so yes we love it um, super, super fun. Yay. But yes. So, okay. That was an awesome question, dear. I hope that answers it. And if you need that link, it is the first one down below. Becca's dropped it. So thank you again, Becca. Um, but yes, I'm going to send these over here. But yes, so awesome wreath. I feel like that's going to be great for anyone that is looking for that. Joanna Gaines inspired, the Magnolia vibe, things like that. So much fun. Next up right here is kind of a new take on a shadow box that we are able to make. Now, this could be done a few different ways. I love the shadow box because it is very dense. So kids would be able to, you know, put some scrapbook paper behind it. You could do a Disney scrapbook paper, a little Disney saying, um, carve out a hole. And this could be a little savings account for Disney. But what we've done today is used one of our new files that says crafting is happiness, um, which I love and um, just filled it full with confetti and it is so, so good. Um, yeah, so a little white vinyl, um, be sure to apply it there, fill it full with confetti and it is really awesome. So we love this one and again, it's just a really easy project to be able to create. So yes, um, lots of fun. Do we have any questions? No, not really. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This one's really fun. I can, you could definitely give this to any of your crafty friends um, and be able to put their favorite things in here. Um, a lot of people have done kind of like emergency candy kits in here as well with the same top where you can kind of put some candy and things um, in here and then make like break if needed. Um, those are really <laughs> adorable. We love those. Um, so really get creative when it comes to the shadow boxes, especially for a last minute gift idea. That's something that's thoughtful, really easy and super fun. So yeah. Um, oh, Sherry wants to see on the overhead. Let's go ahead and let Sherry see that on the overhead and we'll use it quite a bit so you guys can see these a little bit closer and I'll go ahead and zoom in. So this right here, um, cr creating, um, 
Craftiness is happiness. Lord, thought it said creating for a second. Need to creating is also happiness. That is true. Mm -hmm. That is true. Um, but yeah, so what we were able to do, paint this watt. We were able to add the vinyl, fill it full, and you're good to go. So whatever you want to do to it, I know I've gave a lot of ideas. We did not make this frame. So the, this frame right here is from the wood pile at Hobby Lobby. It's a wood shadow box. You can tell we did paint it white and it's traditionally $9.99, but get it on sale. Use that 40% off coupon that they're so generous with every single week and every time you pop in. Um, and I would not wanna have to build a shadow box when you could buy one for less than $10. So this project is so much fun. We really like it. And moving right along, we have a lot of projects that are inspired for the maker in you. So a lot of these projects would be amazing, unique gift ideas to make for people that have a Cricut or that are just creative you know, people in general. So Becca, what kind of gifts do you give to your sister? Do you Have you ever made her anything? Anne and I don't do gifts for each Wait, other. Wait, what? It's true. It's the weirdest thing. We, I mean, we do things like randomly throughout the year sure, to sure, surprise sure. each other. Right. Um, but we kind of have just said, let's not stress about that and oh. worry about other people during like, wow. holidays and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you ever made her anything? Do you sometimes like see things she wants to make? Years and years and years ago, I made her a crocheted hat and that resulted in the biggest fight we've ever had. That is so funny. <laughs> I love it. So funny. I love it. That is so much fun. Um, we have not been able to share the sister one yet. So stay tuned for that. Um, and we're so excited. And if you need the link to purchase um, the membership, it is the first link down below, as well as if you need the shadow box, you can just find that at Hobby Lobby. Um, but yes, so this one right here, oh, so much fun. These are actually wooden beads. You can paint these whatever color you would like with acrylic paint. And they're a lot of fun. I think it really takes this project up a notch or two. Mm -hmm. Just because it just looks, I mean, it looks really modern. Um, and this right here is a chalk couture base. Now, what you guys know we love about these bases is they're super flat and flush. And they're really high quality. So we're just able to put actual regular vinyl right here on top and um, make time to make stuff, which is so fun. So this is a weeding tool. If we, if we get up close, you can kind of tell there's all kinds of different tools on here. And these are again, new cut files. So you guys have kind of been asking for some really awesome cut files. Um, and that is really awesome. I so, love all these new cut files. They're so cute. Yeah. They're very so inspiring. It's a lot of fun. So we're, what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna go through maybe half the projects, then we'll go over, share the screen, um, and we'll be able to go through all of the different things that we have for you guys on the site. So anything like that, we'll be able to go deep into it because believe it or not, we did not just come out with 13 fonts. We did not come out with just 13 cut files. There are so many more on the site that you guys can get inspired and start creating with right now um, for all of our existing members. And the best part is if you just found us, I know we just hit 124,000 YouTube subscribers. So woohoo! Um, we'd love that. So if you're new here, let us know. We wanna welcome you into our crafting community. Um, so let us know what you what you got going on and if you're brand new we want to be sure to welcome you so yay miss tracy said tanner do you have all of these amazing creations on the facebook page in the photo section we do not this is kind of where we do the video <laughs> and then we usually add it to the project section of the website depending on how busy we are um depends on how current that uh albums are but most of these projects usually end up being their own individual video like this adorable baby onesie that we are going to be sharing how to use Cricut infusible ink on glitter heat transfer vinyl. So it's a whole process. If you guys want to see it, if you guys are like, what? Get excited because this baby onesie is everything. And there's a few different reasons why you would kind of want to do this. Like whether you wanted to work with a pattern that you can't find. I don't know if there's really almost any patterned glitter heat transfer vinyls. So you could do that with Cricut Infusible Ink. Um, I've never really seen this pink in Cricut um, or any glitter heat transfer vinyl. So that's really adorable. Um, and we're really excited about that. So yay, it is going to be a lot of fun. Um, Terry said, hello, I'm new to all this. Hi, I have a silhouette. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Will all the cut files work for me or just Cricut? No. So all of our machines, um, you know, all of our cut files work with all the machines. So if you've ever worked with an SVG or a PNG, you would follow that same process to get your, our cut files 
on your Cricut or Silhouette Design Studio and different things like that. So we actually have the brand new Silhouette Cameo 4 and we're coming out with some amazing training on how to use that. So stick with us. I know it has taken quite some time, but with Silhouette coming out with that new machine and everything like that, it has just been um, a very busy time and there's a lot to test to make sure you're educating properly on a brand new machine. Um, so yay, I love it. But yeah, so many awesome ideas. We love a good onesie and you know, the kids just grow so fast that you always need to be able to make new ones, uh, which is awesome. Uh, Dave wants to know what kind of vinyl is best for car decals and cups. Mm. So we love to partner with 651 Vinyl. They're one of our great partners. You can use the shop um, 651 link down below. Um, in that we like to use Oracle 651. Um, some people recommend going like oh, to a stronger one, but 651 does great on our vehicles and we love them in general. So it works great on any of the projects here. Um, that's not heat transfer vinyl. And if you want, you know, I think it'll work great on your car. So great question. Um, we're really, really excited, but yes, moving around along since someone was already asking for it, let's talk about this adorable friendship cut file. We're so excited excited for this one so now this is the font do, 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 do. I want to say wait this, wait this is guac this is the guac font this is extra guac because it's the same as this one so right here that's so funny it's my favorite but I didn't even <laughs> notice <laughs> That's horrible. So Becca has declared this her favorite font, but I have no idea what so I have no idea why because it doesn't seem I did mention that I mean I also love a script font, but like for plain fonts, I said if it wasn't named extra guac, I might not love it as much. I mean it just seems like I'm not I don't mean to diss the font. It just doesn't seem to this be This is called Monkey Say, and that's why I didn't recognize it. But while we're here, can we talk about how it looks very similar to Extra Guac? Well, I mean, uh, I mean, I see what you're saying. You okay? Okay, I just wanted to point it out. I just wanted to point it out. They but look I'm not very necessarily agreeing with you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! So both of these are really fun. Um, but what we're able to do with this embroidery hoop, guys, I don't know about you, but I've seen an embroidery hoop craze lately in all things like wreath making and everything. Have you? I mean, I see it all over Pinterest. Yeah, it's, it's everywhere. Um, I'm not really sure why. I, I'm Well, I don't know. I think it's just different, but it gives like a different, um, like a form right. instead of using like a great, uh, great vine wreath yeah. or just like regular um, sure. boxwood wreath. I don't, I don't know. know. I find it it's very, very minimalist. It's very minimalist. It's really easy to work with. Well, it's similar to like the gold, that really thin hoop gold. <gasps> that's wreath true. That's really that popular right That now. was around for a long time. But yeah. I think it's easier to put fabric and stuff on these. Oh, for sure. Because they're so much fun. For sure. Um, but what I love, my tip with this, if you're making this project, you want to measure your embroidery hoop. You want to create a circle in Cricut Design Space, and then you want to design your entire piece um, right like that, and then move the circle and design space out, mm -hmm. and then attach it all together. This is why. Because then you can pop you know, your fabric, have it heat transfer vinyl onto any piece of the fabric, pop it into the embroidery hoop, cut the excess off, and you know it's going to fit perfectly. Okay, guys? So again, this was our Monkey Say font. It's so adorable. It says, Court and Rach, friends forever. So and then cute. this is one of the new cup files. So we love that as well. And they're just like two little friends and they're pinkies, which is adorable. And the Monkey Say font is another really great one. I would compare it to like, um, if it was, you were looking at like Ray Dunn, um, I'll probably use this in addition to my Barefoot Joanna font and things like that, just because you have to really appreciate some of these more minimal, easier fonts. You know, these are just really fun and awesome to use as well. So yeah, if you guys need to make this for any of your friends, this would be a great little coworker gift or just anything that you have going on. It's very affordable. 
um, and it is really, really fun to do. Miss Bonnie said, can I use vinyl on wood or should I use HTV? So dear, I love this question. If you look at what we have done in the past, we love using heat transfer vinyl on wood, but if you do not have smooth, flat wood that you feel like you could transfer on really easily, be sure to use vinyl because Heat transfer vinyl is really, it heat activates it and it kind of keeps it on just forever. It's a very permanent feel, but things that are textured and whatnot, um, you know, you will not be able to apply it that well. So you do want to be kind of careful with that. Um, but yeah, check out some of our videos on how to heat transfer vinyl on wood if you have questions, because we give a ton of tips over on those videos. So yay! Yes, yes, Sherry yes. said, what's Courtney doing today? Tell her hello Ooh, for us. Um, Courtney went <clears throat> Christmas shopping, and I was supposed to go Christmas shopping, but I had to go to the bank instead. So now I'm going to go Christmas shopping <laughs> after the live stream today, which is fun. Um, but you know, we're trying to get all the Christmas stuff done because we're not going to be together for Christmas, so we have to celebrate. I don't know when we're going to. Maybe tonight. I don't know. Me and her never really plan when we we're going to exchange gifts, but um, I've got to get just a few more gifts from my mama. I would tell you all what I'm getting her, but sometimes she watches these videos, which are, she can't be in on what we're getting, <laughs> given, getting, I don't know. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's a lot, a lot of fun. Um, and it is a lot of goodness. So yes, what great, great comments. Becca, how many friends do we have hanging out with us today? Ooh, good question. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. I cannot get used to this mouth. <laughs> we have 119 watching right Awesome. Now. Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out with us on this awesome, awesome Thursday. I guess a lot of our other friends are really busy as I would be if I wasn't here crafting with you, um, you know, getting ready for the holiday season. So Peter, we had a comment. Um, if I did an iron on vinyl, would an iron work? Okay. Until I'm able to purchase a heat press. Do you have any suggestions? That's or tips a great that? question. So we have a video that is how to use heat transfer vinyl with a household iron. Go watch that video. I'll walk you guys through the entire process because here's the thing. Like before 24 months ago, there was not an easy press on the market mm -hmm. and Cricut actually just recommended you to use your household iron. Um, so I'm not saying that the easy press has not literally changed my life um, because it has. <laughs> but if you guys still have a household iron, you haven't been able to afford it, maybe on your Christmas list, but you've got to get some gifts out. Definitely use your household iron. My household iron is probably 12 years old and it can still it can still make stuff happen. You know what I mean? Do you iron a lot like your clothes? Do you iron your clothes? Um, when Downy Wrinkle release came mm -hmm. out, there's no reason to iron your clothes. Yeah, no. do, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> If it's a fabric that like will wrinkle very easily, I just don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney bought a steamer and I'm still confused why she bought it. But anyway, she uses it like very rarely, uh -huh. um, but it's not even worth going to the basement to get, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's far. <laughs> that's a good question. So yeah, if you have your household iron, use it. Um, and it is a lot of fun. And when is the house tour going up? It, it will be up Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern. You can get to see Becca monitoring our audio. Yeah, make a guest appearance. She did make a guest yeah. appearance. And my <laughs> and the videographer told us that we lost audio for like three seconds. Three to five seconds. It was when? so funny. I don't know. I, I haven't really watched the video. The whole time. He said, you're going here an echo for like five seconds and he didn't know what happened so just i'm blaming that on him that was not on my watch <laughs> I, I i know i was like i don't know what to do megan says wrinkle release is the best right i that's just magical my favorite tip is i like to spray my shirt before I get in the shower and then kind of like stretch it mm -hmm. and then let some of that mm -hmm. steam work magic you get out of the shower. Mm. Did you iron it or what? You'll never know. It's a really good tip if you're traveling too. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, close that cloth, that bathroom door, uh -huh. let it steam up in there. Um, and mm, your dress shirt's done. So yes, we love it. Kelvin says, Hey Tanner, it's Calvin in New Jersey where it's been 14 degrees today. Woo. Um, I'm a male that enjoys your creativity. Thanks, friend. Awesome. We love hearing that. What was his name? Kelvin. Kelvin. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome, 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 Kelvin <laughs> from New Jersey. Um, it was 23 degrees when I woke up this morning at like 6 a.m. Um, so I couldn't imagine if it would have stayed even colder because um, I was very sad going to the gym this morning. 
<laughs> um, but yes, thank you so much. It's a lot of fun to get crafty with the El Cricket or just crafting in general. So anyway, we also have this really fun project and me and Becca was talking all about it because yesterday we had so much fun um, seeing it come to life. But let's go ahead and on that second camera, this right here is kind of like a game changer project because I'm so excited. Whose idea was this? Was this Courtney's? It wasn't mine. I wish I could tell oh, you that. Yeah. Becca, I come know. on. No, I'm kidding. So Courtney, <laughs> I assume, thought of this one. Um, and all it is, why I like it so good, is it is paper mache boxes, which are so affordable. Mm -hmm. Guys, these are like two, three, four dollars. Um, and it is a lot, a lot of fun. And what we love is that you're able to paint these and then you're able to cut out with Cricut leather, which is paper thin leather. Mm -hmm. So calling all of my friends that have just a um, Cricut uh, explore, you are able to cut paper thin Cricut leather and it is awesome. Guys, I was a little worried about it being that, so little. that font is so small, but mm -hmm. it, it worked like a champ. I mean, listen, Cricut developed some really awesome products so that you're able to like not have any craft fills. So again, this would be a great little gift idea. Imagine customizing these. I, I think there's, you know, there's three different boxes we used, but like this one, the big large one is probably better for craft rooms. But if you want to give these as like a little gift next week to some of your co-workers like look at these these would be so nice to have their name do little custom you know ideas for their offices um and then how you know we were able to finish it off is i'm just gonna take the pencils out just so it's easier to hold it up um we've added the brads which are awesome so they're just poked becca you said you poked it with a little yeah mm -hmm. just poked through the leather um which is really thin the brads go inside the box, which is great. And then hot glue any of the pieces like the P just right there. So really easy. And you can get those brads in so many different colors. So if you wanted oh, like different a, colors, yeah. different sizes, yeah. shapes. different shapes. Yeah. <laughs> if you wanted to do like if I was making this, I would probably, I don't know, I, I would probably for my office, I would probably Hmm. I don't know what colors exactly I'd do, but you could get some like black brads or just I mean, really just the craft paper brown would be good yeah, for you. Yeah, no, we could. Yeah. We wouldn't even have to paint uh -huh. it. You could just do that in black leather, which mm -hmm. would be a lot of fun. So, anyway, we love this project, and you guys, if you're looking for um, different things to organize your weeding tools or anything like that, you're gonna have a lot of fun with that right there. So again, this is our new font, Extra Guac. If I could turn it around the right way, how embarrassing. We've got little notes Rachel puts together so I make sure to say the right font because you know, sometimes it's a little hard. There's a, a lot, lot going on. Yeah, there's a lot going yeah. on. We were talking about 13 projects, which are so much fun. So yes, um, oh my gosh, Patricia. Hi, Patricia. Hope you're having a great one. Um, love your videos. I look forward to them every day. If you don't have the membership, I strongly suggest it. Do it for yourself. You deserve it. Yes, again, get it for um, yourself as a gift. Get someone to give it to you. If you have people looking for gift ideas for you, you can gift a membership, which is a lot of fun. Um, and we're really excited about that. So yay, we are getting new fonts today. So we're about to head over to the share screen and we're going to share all about that with you on today's um, video. So we have a lot of new things to talk about and it's so much fun and I love it. So yes, let's go ahead and we're gonna take a look at the cut files. So right here under cut files, you're going to be able to see um, all of these and it's the newest collection. So let's go ahead and say, take me there. Um, and you're gonna see under the cut file category new, look at all of these. <laughs> I'm so excited. If you are just getting your Cricut and you want to, you know, make yourself a little decor and things like that, you're gonna see some, a lot of these projects that we've made um, continuing on because we're only like halfway done with all the projects we've made, but um, they're a lot of fun. So some of my favorites, stress blessed, Cricut obsessed. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's like every Southern household. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Eat, sleep, craft, repeat. I love the coffee. First I make the coffee, then I make the things. Wait, where's that? Oh. The third, yeah, the third one right here. Up, what? up, up. Oh, oh, oh. First row. Oh, for, oh, yes. I love that one. So cute. Craft like no one's watching. Home is where your craft room is. Amen. Too many ideas, not enough time. Amen. Um, I'm creative. You can't expect me to be neat too. 
Um, <laughs> so true. I mean, is that not just like, I need that on a shirt? It's like every day. <laughs> yeah. So these would be great to make for anyone that is, you know, also looking for, you know, new crafty ideas. Um, MPD, multiple project disorder. Dear Lord, Courtney Chambers suffers from this and should be like this. She needs a tattoo person. of that, I think. Oh gosh, if I supported tattoos, I would agree with you right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, she can start like eight projects at once. I, it's it's a hundred But she tattoo. does them well. Like it I, would stress me out and mm-hmm, she is just like cool about mm-hmm. it. <gasps> okay guys, when we were developing this one, this one's a longer one. <laughs> Let's see. I just want you to see in this craft room, collect craft supplies what basically everything with alcohol Ah. measure twice cut once always burnish before weeding weed on the mat never forget to mirror htv get messy watch tanner's video as often as possible (laughs) embrace our mistakes Use fast mode with caution, that and I wish <laughs> you could put, like, in quotations, per Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. So, yeah, there's so many new cut balls, guys, that you need to make for yourself because um, you all are going to absolutely die over all of these. Um, and all I need is a little bit of caffeine and a lot of crafting, which is adorable. And then this one right here, I only craft in, on days that end in Y. Um, is a project that we're going to share with you here in a little bit. So that is so much fun. These are awesome. And Miss Sherry, we were just having a com- from, um, conversation about adding even more occupation cut falls, but we do have some occupation cut falls. So check that out. Um, and you can email customer service and I know they'll be able to link you to even more specific, um, you know, cut falls for that. So let us know which exact ones you would need. Um, so we can add that to our list, but Next up, after Cut Falls today, we also launched brand new fonts. Now, our fonts are only available to year members, so be sure to um, check that out if you're not already a year member because it is on sale today. You can get locked in on our lowest price of the year. It's the first link down below. You can use that coupon code BEST, B-E-S-T, get locked in, um, and the fonts are available exclusive to your yearly members. So right down here, you can see every single month we have new cut files, a member only Facebook group. We have online training and full project tutorials. All of our members get that awesome Cricut printable guide. And then you can also see um, our best deal gives you access to three free online training classes completely free. Um, So you learn how to master that machine, the software and build a business through die cutting. And then if you are needing to see some visual representation, I don't know why, but these really always help me when I'm trying to determine what tier to get. You can see being a monthly member gets you like a little bit more than half of everything compared to a yearly membership, but you are paying less being a yearly member. So monthly membership is $19.99 a month. Year membership is $15.99 a month, but that's before the amazing coupon code that is BEST. So B-E-S-T, that's going to lock you in at $12.95 a month. And then what you're able to get in is that's like $0.42 cents a day, which is crazy. So you can see right here, $12.65 a month billed annually. So you just click on this, say you want the best value, you give your coupon code B-E-S-T, And then you're able to get in on that. You can purchase, just click check out with PayPal or enter your billing information here. All of that is super, super secure. So we love it and it's awesome, awesome. So yay, Um, that is awesome. And again, you guys can see our amazing member only Facebook group and our member of today. There's so many good projects, guys. There's so many um, that we love showcasing, so. I'm going to scroll through and kind of just share with you guys some. There's a lot. Look, I love this one. Tammy, oh my gosh, Tammy, I think is here. Um, She made this. Uh, do you not love this card? I love it. I love the foil in it. I know. Mm-hmm. It is adorable. And I love a good ugly Christmas sweater. Mm-hmm. Can you believe we took no pictures together, back? Zero, up? none. None at our ugly Christmas sweater party. Did it even happen? Right? I don't know. I mean, you're in a picture with my kids, so that's wait, sort where of I didn't get I think a photo. Anna took one. I didn't. I mean, it's not a like a posed photo. 
Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I wanted any project or projects. I didn't know if I wanted any photos because let me tell you, I had never felt so uncomfortable with my body. I tell you what, I'm <laughs> Those not sure anyone sweaters. really looks great in an ugly Christmas sweater. People that are like paper thin, I guess. I'm not even sure then. That's I'm true. just not sure. I don't know. Um, Liz Jenny says, says Tammy is killing the card game. She, yes, she is. is. Shoo. Come over here and teach us. Um, <laughs> For real. <laughs> Liz says a last minute Christmas craft while watching the morning live. Found the plate at Dollar Tree. Used Maker's Gonna Learn Cutfall and Pattern Vinyl from her Maker Material Box. Well, that's adorable. I love this. I love, love, love this. Um, cookies and milk for Santa. So you guys need to get that ready. You guys know it's the bomb. Um, so yeah. So anyway, so much fun. And you guys need to get your, your membership if you have not already. And we haven't even talked about fonts. Let's, let me share you the new fonts real quick and we'll get back to crafty projects. But we have up in the air, just peachy, latte, latte, monkey say, pretty Oz. I'm trying to double check something. Sorry. Something special. City Slicker. Slicker. Uh -huh. Tulip. First impression. Groovy moves. I mean, guys, all these are so adorable. Um, and you guys know we always are launching so many fun ones. And there's 20 that you're able to see today. So Beatrice, Extra Guac. Okay. I love this right here. And it's adorable. Right? It's so much fun. I do have to say it looks different online than it does on the leather project. Well, did we use all caps in the leather project? I think we may have. I think yeah. we may have. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it has See? some personality. See? It has some you. personality. I mean, I have all kinds of personality. You think I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to choose like this <laughs> mundane I was, font? I was just saying... You were questioning me. I, I mean, I may have. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Keep us on um, your toes. Michelle said, I made my first ever shirt last weekend and posted it. Yay. Thank you, Michelle. We love seeing that. Um, pickle juice. Here is Mammal's font, and I think it matches Mammal. Look at that. It's so cute. I love that one. I do really like Princess that Princess says, the fonts alone make the annual membership worth it, and yes. you are right, There's Princess. no price. I mean, you'd have to pay like 5 to 10 $15 plus dollars to get a commercial license on these fonts to be able to use to make money, and it's included with our membership, so Look it's fun so much fun. Is. I, I, right? Like, you could do some really awesome, larger than Matt home decor with this one. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, so those are just kind of a look at the fonts. If you guys are an active yearly member, that's just your, your gift. So you all are able to go ahead and look at it and get started with your projects. Yeah. And, Merry early Christmas. Yeah. Merry early Christmas guys. Be sure to use some of these new projects, cut falls, fonts and everything on your amazing, um, projects. And it is going to be a lot of fun, but there's even more projects to be able to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and keep that conversation up. Um, and we're going to talk about a few more projects because I know you guys love to see more inspiration. So keep those questions coming. If we have a newbie here again, let us know so we can welcome you to our crafting community and we love it. So next up, this is so adorable. I love this frame. It looks I mean, this one is awesome. And um, what I love about this is it says side by side or miles apart, sisters will always be connected by heart. And guys, this is Courtney's sister's university. And this is Court, where Court is. And I'm pretty sure she, I'm trying to see where, where part. Um, I think she put half and half of Tennessee and North Carolina in here, which is adorable. So anyway, these are just like Google Maps screenshots and then made it a print and cut in Cricut. So if you guys are like, I want to know how to take a map and make it a print and cut, stay tuned because again, this will be a live stream and you guys will love being able to see this in a live stream or on a project video. So we're so excited. Sylvia said, I haven't done that of commercial license yet. I can do that later, right? What do you, do you uh, Sylvia, so there's nothing you actually have to do if you ever need like specific terminology. Um, our terms are pretty like straightforward. As long as you're making less than 500 of something, you are able to, you can make 500 shirts of the same baby onesie 500 times and you would never have to get a more like advanced license than our commercial license. Um, but yeah, if you ever need that, you can. But here's the thing. As soon as you like cancel your yearly membership, um, you lose the commercial license and it goes back to a personal use license. So you can use and sell as long as you have that active yearly membership. Yeah. 
It is only with the, the yearly membership. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so if you love, you know, everything, but you're like, I only want to go monthly, monthly gives you access to the Facebook group, the cut files, the printable gods. It does not give you access to the fonts, the free courses, or the commercial license. So great question. Now, Terry wants to know what the grids are used for. Ooh, so we have a whole little mini section of the Black Friday event talking all about grids, but it's kind of like giving you a roadmap to pick and choose what font you want um, and to kind of build something really uniquely yours. So we'll have new training on that again after Christmas. So yay! I love it. And this font right here is Monkey Say. So this one's really fun. I love this one a lot. So we have our you can find it over on the website um, and we do a great little training on how to do that. There's a few other videos online but that's probably the best one I'd recommend. Really fun. So Anyway, next up, this one right here. Now this right here is something I love. This is a two fonts brought together. This is the Scrabble tile font. Awesome, awesome frame tutorial. So this is our frame master class and it is so good. Um, and then look, we have a scratch to be, and it's just so fun. So you just take little tiles. This is some small little heat transfer vinyl pieces, but simple, um, and I really love it. Um, I could even see this like adding a little, uh, clip for you to add a family photo mm -hmm. or something like that on here. Um, and it would be a lot of fun, which is fun. I have lots of buffering. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Megan says, I just bought the master class and it's so worth it. Yay. Woohoo. I'm gonna see if it's buffering on my end. Oh no. So it's not buffering on my end. Action. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Not good at all. Not good at all. Um, so we're gonna to try to power through and hopefully it will just kind of fix itself. I don't know if there's a Wi-Fi issue in the video and you guys will have to watch it, the recorded. I'm so sorry. Um, so we're going to go through and um, finish it. No, Sharon, our weather's great. It's very nice outside. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful actually um, for December. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna continue to go through all of the projects. Next up, we have the I Only Craft on Days That End in Y. This one's so adorable. Um, again, it's two pieces of paper in a clear frame, which is very unique. Um, it would look great in almost any craft room. Watercolor paper in the back. Um, and it's just really adorable. So this is actually white vinyl. You could also use cardstock, but the vinyl was really easy to, to pop in there. So it's a lot, a lot of fun. Um, yay. So that one's really adorable. And then next up we have this one right here. That is so funny. It says been there, cricketed that, which is hilarious. Um, we have, you know, a little like SVG cricket and we used a awesome font on here, which do we know exactly which font this was? I totally forgot. Mm -mm. Court, do we know which font was on the Been There Cricketed it's app? A, it's an SVG. It's an SVG. Oh my yeah, gosh, that's file. why. So this right here is a full SVG um, for you guys. So that's Been There Cricketed That. Um, and it is a lot, a lot of fun. So yay, so much fun. Um, and this is really an awesome one. And then guys, we have even more that could not even fit on the table. So look right here. I got a few more that I wanna share with you guys. So right back here, this one's crazy. Rachel built this one and I love it. So this one right here is a reversible frame. So this says, welcome spring. And then you can flip it around and it says, hello summer. How adorable. Oh, that's adorable. I know, and it, all it is, all it is is you take the same tutorial, you literally use one piece of middle wood, paint it both white, and then you just add a second piece of the frame so you can flip it around. So imagine being able to, you know, have a lot of fun with that during the holidays, and it is so much fun. That's smart, I love so it. So smart, I mean, why not? It makes it compactable and, what this is right here is the font Cynthia for the hello and then Papaw, which is right here. So Mamaw has a font, 
Papa has a font, um, and that's a lot of fun. So, like yeah. I said, how do you hang that one? So there is the little ledge with the frame, so you can yeah. just like hang it right under that ledge. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily need like an alligator clip or anything, or right, an alligator right, right. hanger or anything. Yeah, and it's really easy if you love using your command, um, you know, products. You could still yeah. use that mm -hmm. on the actual frame because, as you guys know, most um, command products like have no mess cleanup, and you'll never even be able to see it there. So this next one. I love it. And it says, love God, be kind, love people. This one's adorable. A canvas tote bag, heat transfer vinyl, pom-pom trim. Is that not adorable? So cute. So adorable. I love the fun colors. Yeah. It, Ms. Cindy said, I sold some glitter ornaments and have a little extra cash right now. I think I'll be purchasing the sign class. Cindy, oh, do it. Yay. You will not regret it. Oh my gosh. The sign class, if you sell projects, you are going to be able to make so much money with my sign class. Because even in the class, we kind of dive into how much I would sell the signs for. And it's... It's awesome because you're able to do custom projects. You're able to make and build some really amazing things. And I don't know about you guys, but recently I've just been taking so much more pride in things that I make myself and being able to conquer new things. So um, yes, I think you'll love that. Their profit margin on signs that they sell will go up drastically oh my too gosh. if you're making them. So yeah. that's definitely something to think about. You'll make your money up very quick. Definitely, definitely. And it's a great way in our, if you're a year member, definitely take our build a business class because I kind of talk about your niche and you know making sure you have products that are go bring you the best return and signs are one of the things that I think are the most profitable because they're easy to design you could have three or four sizes um, and they're really good so Ms. Dawn I think, wants to know where she can find the class to sign up oh, that's a great question so under our course section mm -hmm. there is a I think it's called the sign master class definitely check that out and take it. So um, that's just under the Makers Gonna Learn SOT. Click on courses and you'll see it right there. So yay, thank you so much for asking. But last but not least, this is so adorable. This is a awesome shirt and we're able to use, now do we know which font this one is right here? I totally forget. This is our little jersey. Is it Brock the Jock? I'm not 100% sure. Not 100%, but um, this is so good. And it's great for any like sporting tees or anything like that that you want to make for the kids, make a set or anything like that. So much fun. It's the same font, but upper and lower case. Oh wait, which font is it? It's the same exact font for both of them, but one is uppercase and one's lower Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I have the sticky note. I found it. <laughs> it's called Spot On The Team. So what Rachel, hollers at us as, bless her heart, she's still not feeling well if you were not here at the beginning of the live. Um, this is the uppercase part of the font and this is the lowercase part of the font. So it's the same font um, and it's really, really awesome. So great for the sporting teams or anything like that. Super Bowl season is coming up before we know it um, and that's spot on. So spot on the team. So you're gonna love that and it's a great font. Guys, we have so many fonts. It's so hard to keep up with all of them but that is why we've made some amazing resources for you guys to see all your cut files under our cut file library um, printable, as well as the font printable on your dashboard. So as soon as you become a member, you're going to get access to everything. We have great resources to walk you guys through everything you need to be able to make your membership the most successful. And the thing about our membership is we promise that you guys are able to master your Cricut in like 30 days or less with our membership when you go on that yearly membership tier because you're getting your Cricut printable guide, you're getting those three training courses, and you're getting access to a ton of different things. Our membership is the only place where you're able to get motivation, inspiration, and education all in one place. So yay, we love that. And it is so much fun. Fun. Miss Lisette, the shirt is from Hobby Lobby. Yes, so it's so good uh, and we love it. So I hope the buffering kind of stopped. I hope you all are able to rewatch if you had any trouble viewing and we are so excited to be able to continue on 
getting crafty with you guys. So if you have any questions, be sure to reach out, let us know. Again, take advantage of that coupon code BEST at checkout, and we will be so excited to help you guys as you're getting ready and getting crafty for Christmas. I can't wait. Um, and it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. So anyway, guys, I hope you all have a fantastic Thursday and we'll see you back here really soon. Everyone, thanks for wishing Rachel to feel better. Yay. But okay, Becca, anything else? I think that's it. Awesome. Well, thanks guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.